Hi, I'm Bob Berg, coming from International Headquarters. No, not my spare bedroom, but the Dunkin' Donuts at the corner of Alton A1A in Indian Town Road in Jupiter, Florida. Remember, America runs on Dunkin'. You know, I was just thinking one of my favorite movies, It's a Wonderful Life. If you're like I am, you've seen this movie about 17 times every holiday season. And if you're like me, you've taken away some of the really good, positive messages about friendship, togetherness, coming through for one another. But there are also some negative messages in that movie that I think is, and I think it's easy for them to get lost. One is the lack of programming. I learned from Randy Gage, a good friend of mine who does some terrific uh, teaching on abundance, that just about every blockbuster movie has a lack of messages. You've got the, the two types of people, the poor people who are good, you know, or I should say the good people who are poor, uh, but happy. They're always poor but happy, and they're always you know, kind of put down, put out, put off, taken advantage of, stepped on by the, uh, the wealthy people, the rich people, who are mean and nasty and heartless and so forth. And, and certainly, uh, and if you've never seen Randy's vignette on um, Titanic, it's, it's terrific. You've got to see it. Anyway, definitely that same kind of message in It's a Wonderful Life, right? You've got the, the townsfolk who are poor but happy. You've got George Bailey, the self-sacrificial. Remember, he was going to travel the world and build skyscrapers. But instead, he stayed in town to protect the hapless residents from the evil capitalist, M Mr. Potter. And so, you know, there's kind of a message, a message of, of lack there that we need to be careful of. Uh, but there's another message that I saw, and it, was, and it was really brought to mind by a good friend of mine, another Randy, Randy Stelter, who lives in uh, Valparaiso, Indiana. He's the athletic director for Wheeler High School. He's a great friend of mine. And he was, he was talking about the fact that he had just read a recent blog post of mine where I talk about default settings. Now, a default setting is sort of your natural response or reaction mechanism to a pressure situation. Do you respond with calmness and serenity by thinking the matter through, making a good, setting the context for a good decision, or do you react with frustration, anger, rage, what have you? And if you notice in the movie, George Bailey, the hero, is very reactionary when something happens. In fact, his default setting tends to be uh, anger, yelling, screaming, even bullying. If you remember when he, he took the phone away from Mary and he yelled at that teacher, really hurting her feelings. And, and that was George Bailey, and that wasn't a great lesson to take away. As, as Randy Stelter said, though, the opposite of that was George's wife, Mary. Her default mechanism, or, or default setting, I should say, was calmness. It was serenity. She seemed to have this faith that everything would work out perfectly. Now, she took positive action to make sure uh, the odds were in, were in her favor, but by the uh, uh, on the same hand, she was just wonderful, the way that she would respond to the, <clears throat> the situations that got thrown at her. She was a much better example than was George, the hero of the movie. Uh, Randy was saying that his wife Maureen is his Mary. She's a lot like that. When things come up, Maureen is the one whose who's default setting is on, on calm and on, on in response mode. So I, I guess the, the lesson for today, if you will, is oh, two things. One is that when we watch movies, let's enjoy them for what they are and the, and the good messages they bring us. But let's also be very careful. Let's check the premises and, and, and ask ourselves if the way the the characters are handling the situations are the best way to handle them and if that's what we uh, should desire to do. The other thing is let's continually, continually check our default settings and make sure that when things happen if we catch ourselves going into reaction mode that we kind of fix that. We do a check on that and we decide we, we decide we're going to handle things in a more responsive positive manner. I'm Bob Berg, coming to you from the Dunkin' Donuts, off in A1A and Indian Town Road, reminding you, of course, that America does run on Dunkin'. Make it a great day.